pretty impressive that he was able to keep up his strength for that long <laughs> while talking to me. Before finally collapsing. Oh boy. We're, we're coming up to the climax. I can feel it, dude. I can feel it. It's a Camarocho. Ooh. Hey, Tanamura. It's good in the hood, my dude. Leaving already, Masa? Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 wait. This is must be before they get shot. <laughs> right? You've been a better friend than I have, Zhao. You know that's not true. I'm just sorry the truth came out so bitter. Your father killed by another member of the force? I'm in shock. Yeah. Something that doesn't feel right. How can your father rest in peace like this? I think he's just fine. Hmm? Chief Hasai and Sugu Sugiichi, Sugiuchi were tired of being used by Munakata and Katsuragi all these years. They spent most of their lives serving others against their will. But their final acts were, on, were all their own. They went out following their own code of justice. Masa. Sugiichi must have known he was signing his death warrant talking to me. But he did anyway. And Chief Hasai took his own life to spare you. Oh, Mei Huan me. Wow. So Hasai actually didn't even shoot them. He just freaking shot himself. Wow. Okay. Interesting. That's why he said yes, both of them, before he shot himself. Wow. Okay. 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 So neither one of them got shot, so... Yeah, because I was a bit confused. I'm like, shouldn't you be dead or may Hua be dead? But no, it was, uh, he shot himself. Huh. Right. Hisai told Munakota, Munakata I was dead so he, so he wouldn't come after me. He spared me so I could do what's right. What he was never able to do as a cop. You mean take down Munakata? Exactly. And Munakata is going to be one freaking hard dude to get to let me just say but how he's one of the most powerful men in the tokyo metropolitan police force i'm not just i'm not going to get much help from my fellow officers oh. hey akiyama what's good hello oh akiyama <laughs> Phew. the shit's really hit the proverbial fan no kidding so, what's up? I assume something happened if you're here. Mm. Yeah, something like that. Hmm? <laughs> the district attorney's lackey suddenly showed up at my office, started turning the place upside down. They threw me out. Your office? Sky fin Finance? What are the charges? Some kind of coercion. I forgot to exa the exact term. It's the tests I give to prospective clients. They said I was forcing them to do things against their will, and that was coercion. Heh, <laughs> sounds like something the DA would say. I didn't know where else to go, so I thought I'd drop by here. But it looks like I came at a bad time. No, your timing's perfect. Hmm? Listen, Akiyama, I need your help with something. We need to take down Monokata. Munakata. Munakata. Guy's got a very interesting name, gotta admit. We need to take out Adai, Munakata, and freaking the other dude. I forget what his name is, the, the long haired guy, the bodyguard of uh of the Yuno Saiwa guy. <laughs> Looks the same as ever, yeah. Oh boy. Yep. Yep. Oh, he's trying to get Akiyama to 
ちょっとついてきてくれ。Serena! Let's go to Serena! Come on, that's gotta be where we're going, right? That's, you're passing the door. Serena's right there. Where are you going? <laughs> I see Serena right there. Kazuma. <laughs> Kazuma, that's like the safest freaking place that you could go. Should probably go to New Serena for starters. It was always a sort of home away from home for me. Yasuko, let's head over to this bar I used to go to. It's run by an old friend of mine. Okay, whatever you think is best. Yep, we're going right to freaking old New Serena. Never mind, New Serena is not right there, as I thought it was. I keep on forgetting that they moved it down. Or they... It doesn't look the same as it used to. What's this truck doing here? Is someone in, in this building moving? Look, man, can we just get into... There we go. <laughs> just get into New Serena. Let's not worry about this. Dude, is that Date? <laughs> is Date... Uh, oh my god, it is. Uh, wow. Date's running New Serena. That is actually very cool. Nice. He went from detective... <laughs> He went from detective to reporter to freaking bar owner. I don't even know <laughs> how that freaking worked, but for some reason it did. <laughs> wow. What brings you here out of the blue? Just a little something I need to take care of. Oh man, freaking seeing Date just gives me a big... F oh, just makes me hard. Oh, it just... Mm. I love it, dude. Freaking Dante is one of my all-time favorite characters. Like, he's one of the characters that if he freaking died, I would legitimately cry. Like, that is something that I would, like, tears would come out of my face if he freaking died, dude. Just a little something I need to take care of. More problems? <laughs> it's always like that, ain't it, Dante? Something like this, that... This is Yasuko Saijima. I'm helping her out with something. Nice to meet you. Same here. Hey, she's a real knockout. What she's doing with a guy like you? <laughs> hey, Dante, I'm taken, remember? I'm freaking taken. It's not what you're thinking. Let's leave it at that. So, where's M Mariko? She got some bad news from home and had to rush back. She'll be gone about a week. And you're holding down the fort until she gets back? It's a real pain that with my other what with my other work, but she wants to keep the place open for regulars. By the way, I don't know if I said this at the beginning or or what, but is Sayama ever going to come back? Cause she is was honestly one of my favorite characters, Kar you know, Karu. She was one of my favorite characters, and I would love to see her come back at some point. At some freaking point, dude. Lucky for us. So, Kiryu, what's this little something you need take to take care of? Right, right, let's have a seat and talk a minute. I need to ask you something before we look for your brother. Alright? So, what would you like to ask me? I'll be blunt. Why do you need to see your brother so badly? Bad enough to commit murder. What? Murder? <laughs> Mr. Kiryu, this isn't the best place to... Don't worry about Date. He was a detective once, but we can trust him. He wouldn't turn you in without hearing you out. Isn't that right, Date? Uh, yeah, that's right, but... <laughs> Yasuko, let's have the truth. Why would you go so far for your brother? Answer any freaking time, dude. Sometime this week. Because... Because my brother Taiga is my everything. Your everything. I would have died long ago if it weren't for him. Go on. Well, have you ever heard of a living donor kidney transplant? Oh, crap, really? Yeah, isn't that where a relative or somebody donates one of their kidneys? You read about it, them a lot. Right, and I'm one of those recipients. You had a kidney failure, so your brother donated one of his kidneys to you. That's why he means everything to you. 
Hmm, that's interesting. I like that. Tra I mean, you could have just said, oh, he's my brother, right? That's why he's my everything. He's the only family I got left. You know, you could have said any of that, but that, uh, that just adds an extra layer onto it, which makes it a lot more interesting. Transplants between siblings aren't all that unusual. I don't mean to be rude or anything, but do you really owe him that much uh, for a kidney? No, you don't understand. It's not that simple. It's not. Would you mind explaining? The kidney I received wasn't from Taiga. His wasn't a match. Why? Why different blood? Why different blood types or something? Well, yes, we have. We are different blood types, but, but what? Was there some other reason? Yasuko. Yasuko, I am getting freaking sick and tired <laughs> of your freaking like mysterious attitude i like can i just say that yasuko has been more of a pain in the ass than any other character in the yasuka series seriously she has been more of a freaking pain to each and every one of these characters except for maybe saijima because saijima never met her but like i mean even she was he is her brother but like she just withholds information. Like, that's why I was so glad that Tanamura is like, enough with the bullshit and just tell me what's going on. Like, that's why I like Tanamura. Yasuko, just tell me what you mean instead of all these freaking ellipses. I hate them. Are you and he not related by blood? What? That's exactly it. We're not related by blood. Taiga is my stepfather's son from a previous marriage. My mother had me before remarrying. Then how did you find a suitable kidney match? Taiga found my biological father, father after my mother had passed away and begged him to donate a kidney to me. Wow. It turns out my blood type is fairly rare. A blood relative, a blood relative was my only hope in finding a match. It's like that uh, movie um, with Sean Connery. Not Sean Connery. Uh, freaking Clint Eastwood. With Clint Eastwood, where, you know, it's the, it's the serial killer, and, uh, you know, he gives him a heart. You guys ever seen that movie? I think it's called, like, Lifeline. I think that's what it's called, like, or, like, Lifeblood or Bloodline or something like that. Um, freaking good movie, guys. Watch it, seriously. It turns out, uh, da-da-da-da. Once he found that out, Taiga left home, searching day in and day out until he found my father. This is what, when Taiga was 15 only 15 I had already given up hope before she died my mother had told me my father was a drunken woman beater with no hope of ever changing I thought he was probably already dead even if he wasn't I didn't want to live knowing I had a kidney from such a horrible man I thought I would rather die than carry a part of him well technically you already do you have his genetics so that doesn't really mean much <laughs> But my brother Taiga wouldn't give up. He said he was going to take care of me no matter what. So he found your biological father. He did. Where? In the Kansai region. He had become involved with the Omi Alliance. They were using him to they were using him to do their dirty business. The Omi Alliance. That's right. And Taiga went went alone to Kansai knowing that my father was working for the moth for the yakuza but i like how like everything from past freaking games is just coming up <laughs> he was threatened yes a yakuza to the core my father demanded a huge sum of money in exchange for one of his kidneys how much 30 million yen 30 million that's a lot even more so back then how could a 15-year-old kid ever hope to get his hands on that much money? Exactly. But he didn't give up. He turned to fighting on the Komorocha streets, taking what little money he could get from the street punks he beat. Wow! He started, he started, he started reversing mugging people before Cosmos started reverse mugging people. But how could he ever... It was Sasai of the Tojo clan who, gave, who saved Taiga. Really? He gave my brother 30 million yen on the condition that he helped his- he join his family. So that's how Saijima joined the Sasai family. My brother never abandoned me. He watched over me even when it looked like all hope was, up, was lost. He dropped out of school, gave up his dreams of becoming a school teacher, and joined the Yakuza. I owe my life to him. Wow! 
So that's what you meant by when you said when you said he was your everything. Yes, that's right. Taiga is everything to me. He's not only he not only saved my life, he gave me the will to live. Hmm. Wow, dude. That's a pretty unique backstory, to be honest. I like it. Never heard of that one before. <clears throat> I mean, uh, yeah, he didn't. He didn't kill. They were just blanks. The real killer is dead, actually. <laughs> oh, technically. Munakata's mostly the. I'll bring him back. I mean, it's a possibility, Yasuko. You keep saying that Saijima is everything to you. We all need to. We all rely on others. It's hard to live without someone's love and and support. But with you, your brother's very existence has become your reason to live. Am I wrong? Life's been hard on you. You lost your parents and and had it tough from a young age. You being unhappy isn't an excuse to do anything you like. Oh yes! Thank you, Kiryu, for freaking laying down the truth. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in no position to pass judgment on anyone, but still, care you. I won't preach, but your raw emotions have led to some bad decisions. Yeah, exactly. You've lost your ability to think clearly. So I want you to wait here while I find out where Saijima is and what he's doing. Don't worry. I will find him, and I will get you to him. But you need to take it easy right now. Agreed? Yes. And thank you. Okay, then. Take good care of her. You can count on me. And don't freaking just do a do a horika and just take her outside like, la da da and then get, she gets kidnapped. Don't do that, Date. Don't do that. Keep her here. We found a hideout! Yay! Alright. <clears throat> Let's go find Saijima. He should be at the batting cages. <laughs> Let's go instantly there, dude. Let's just go instantly to the batting cages. Because that was where he was last time. Kitty, wait a minute. What is it? There's something I wanted to say. It was kind of hard to talk about in there. Something about Yasuko? Yeah, I'm afraid if she heard this, she'd only en end up getting into more trouble. Okay, so what is it? You just got back to Komurocho, so you probably haven't noticed. But the streets have been r restless the past few days. You think it's because Shijima's here? That's only part of it. You see, word on the street is that Sa that Majima met with Saijima several days ago. He did. Yeah, and they say he had an entire his entire family lined the streets to protect Saijima from the cops. Yeah? So they already met up. Listen, Date, do you know where Majima is now? I need to see him right away. It's not only about Saijima. Majima might may know something about the top police figures who secretly control Jingu and the Tojo clan. What are you talking about? I can't say much more than that, except there are people gunning for the Tojo clan. In any case, I need to find I need to see Majima now. I need to hear his side of the story. Well, Majima currently operates from the top floor of Millennium Tower. Got it. Thanks. 
Alright, good news. Hey, Yuya! I see freaking Yuya over there, dude! I got an email. What is it? Come to the Yoshida Batting Center. Four years is too long to leave this up in the air. Twisted Curve? Okay, we'll go. We'll go there. Four years ago, it says. That could just about. That could be just about anybody. <laughs> Yoshida Batting Center, huh? Guess I'll see what it, what it's all about once I get there. Yuya, my boy. I know where you're coming from. Just calm down for a minute, second, Shinya. You don't know where. I, you know where I'm coming from. What do you know? I'm too. You're too soft. <laughs> you're too soft. <laughs> You know the rule. If a customer ducks out on a pit tab, it's the host's responsibility. And Mitsuru would knew when he left, when he let his customer run up that huge tab. You're right. If a customer walks out on a tab, it has to come out of the host's pocket. And I've seen that. I've seen it happen too. Look, I know I'm being easy on Mitsuru, but he's been very serious about his work, and he's really brought in a lot of business. If we can get past this mistake, I'm sure he'll learn from it, and we'll end up making more in the long run. That's why I'm willing to help him out a little. Huh? You're telling me Stardust is gonna eat the 5 million yen debt? No, he'll pay it alright, but I want to give him a little time. Are you going to bail out everybody who screws up like that j from now on? Stardust would go under in no time. Kazuki would never have let this something like this slide. What happened to Kazuki? Problem is so big you had to take it outside, huh? Mr. Kiryu, I didn't know you were back in Komorocho. Yeah, I have some business to take care of here. If you'd let me know, I would have dropped. If you'd let me know, I would have dropped by. Don't sweat it. We know each other a little too well to worry about formalities. <laughs> hey, is everything okay at Stardust? You and that kid didn't seem didn't seem like you were seeing eye to eye. Sorry, you had to see that. What's the problem? It's this host we've named Mitch Mitsuru. He let a customer run out. On a five million dollar, five million, five million yen tab. <laughs> Ouch! But I hear that happens all the time. Mitsuru is actually a really hard worker, and he's been good for business. Looks like he was just unlucky on this one. So I want to help him out somehow if I can. Yeah, that's the Yuya I know. You think I'm too soft on them? Shinya called me soft just now, and Kazuki called me soft once too. All the same, I just want to help my hosts out any way I can. But, hey, you don't need to hear about all this. <laughs> anyway, I have to get back to the club. Still have to keep Stardust the number one host club in Komorocho. I really appreciate you lending an ear. Where is Kazuki? Yeah, maybe I should see what Kazuki has to say, too. Can I go inside? I can actually go inside freaking Stardust. As Kazuma, I can actually go inside Stardust. Been, it's been a while. Hmm? Kiryu Mr. Kiryu, it sure has. How are things going? Hey. Well, en well enough, I guess. Is it that whole thing between Yuya and Shinya? You heard about that? Yeah, I saw him having a having it out in front of the club earlier. Earlier! Freaking voice cracks. Sorry about that. Not exactly the image we want to project. Even after becoming manager, you, you can still be a little hot under the collar at times. I wouldn't worry about it. It's nice to see a man have passion for his work. Seems to me he's got just the right amount. Yeah. I agree. That's why I let you, you take over as manager, because I knew I could count on him. What do you think should be done about that tab problem? Well, like I said, Yuya is the manager now. I stand behind his decisions, of course, but... But what? Well, a lot of times, if a host lets a customer run up a big tab, he has an ulterior motive. 
ulterior motive, eh? No matter how young, inexperienced, or easy to manipulate a customer may be, it just doesn't make sense to advance someone that kind of credit. Still, it's not unheard of in this line of work. True. Usually, it's a case of the host needing to boost his sales figures and pressuring the customer to or into ordering pricey drinks. But this time, for some reason, I get the feeling that Mitsuru was set up by somebody. Set up? Who do you think would do that? Good question, but even if that were the case, it's not like I could take matters into my own hands. Yuya is the manager, and he's the one that needs to sort out this kind of problem with the hosts. Looks like looks like how Mitsuru came comes out of this depends on Yuya's skills as a manager. Hey, it's his girlfriend. Hey, maybe Yuya, <laughs> the one that we went to the strip club to go see, which was weird. Maybe Yuya is a little too kind for his job as manager. Hmm. Well, then what can we do about it? This is my question. I could definitely see him being too nice for his own good. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Oh, hello. Satoru Kamaki here. It's been ages, Kiryu. If you're here in Komurocho, come see me. I'll be waiting at my dojo and... Oh my god, no. It's mail from Master Kamaki. I wonder if he had one of his apprentices write this. Kamaki Dojo is inside Ryu Go Guju in Park Boulevard. I should probably stop by when I have the time. I am not doing that. Screw you. <laughs> Screw you, dude. I am not freaking about to do that. I'm going to go to the batting cages, though, because I am kind of interested to see what the hell that is all about. Is it freaking Hayashi? <laughs> Round three, motherfucker. <laughs> it's like, no! No! Please don't. Please don't. I don't want to freaking see Hayashi. Please. That is like the last freaking person I want to see. Uh, where's the batting? I think I think this is the batting cages, ain't it? Maybe? Also, don't you just love how, uh... Wait, no, is that the batting cages? Hold up. Map. What's this? Oh, that's a bowling alley. You know what? I kind of want to go bowling. Let's go check that out, actually. I kind of want to go. I kind of want to go see what the bowling alley is all about. It looks like the in only entrance is over here. <clears throat> like I actually kind of want to play some bowling right now. Come on. Where's the bowling alley? I want to go bowling, damn it. Um, there has to be somewhere I can get into this, right? Ah, here we go. I got, yeah, I want to see how the bowling minigame is in this freaking game. Hello. Hello, sir, how would you like to play today? Well, I'll play by myself. Very good, sir, that'll be 500 yen. All right. How many frames would you like to play? Let's play 10 frames. I know, I actually know how to freaking bowl, so hopefully, take your time and enjoy. Hopefully, I can actually do this well. Because I have gotten many strikes in my day, so we can display the fi 10 frames, okay? Confirm direction and power, all right? Uh, adjust position and spin level. Gotcha. Use the right and left directional buttons to adjust your position, and press X button to confirm. To confirm the direction. To confirm the power. To adjust the spin, press the right and left directional balls before releasing the ball. 
I fucked up, dude. Oops. <laughs> well, it kind of, like, screwed me over. Uh, okay. Just try to get it right down the middle. Oh, shit. Okay, what up? Ugh! Alright. If we can spin it that way. 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 Ah, oh, two left. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Alright, eight. Alright. Alright, spin it that way. And let's see if we can get a spare. Yes! Haha! -ha! Got a spare. Got a spare. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright. So you know what you know how it is. Uh that is not right. <laughs> that is not right at all. Okay, just put a spin on it. Put a spin on it. Do not let that freaking there you go. That should have been a strike, goddammit. That should have been a strike. I am very mad at that. <laughs> that should have been a freaking strike. Alright. We'll do it like this, then. Alright. Oh. Don't land in the gutter. Yeah, there we go. Another spare. Another spare. Hell yeah. All right. Hmm. Wow. How did I mess up that badly? I honestly don't know, to be honest with you. All right. It freaking goes so fast, dude. It goes so freaking fast. <laughs> Spin it up. Hell. Oh. God damn it. Then I get a spare that time. I want to get a strike. I want to get a strike so bad, dude. Oh, dude, that is so good. You better hit that. You better hit <laughs> that, dude. No, not a freaking split. Oh, why? No, I don't want to split. Why a split, dude? Why a split? All right, this is like the best. That is not going to work. I just guttered myself. Freaking put that spin. Oh, no, it didn't even matter. Didn't even matter. Damn it, dude. Damn it. You like freaking even cussed? <laughs> come on, come on, strike, strike, strike! No! Why can't I get a strike, dude? Why can't I get a strike? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I should be able to freaking get a strike. Okay, just like a little bit of a spin on it. Not much, though. We don't really need that much of a spin. Boom. Another spare. Yes. Just getting... Sp like, this is honestly how I play freaking bowling. Like, this is honestly it. I always freaking just get spares. I have, like, maybe three times gotten a strike in my entire time of bowling, dude. Like, legit. <gasps> oh... Yes! Strike! Ah! <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Freaking strike, dude. Little bit of a little bit of a spin, not much though. Oh dude, that one wobbled. I saw it wobble. So freaking close, dude. So close. But no cigar. 
No cigar. All right. Let's angle ourselves a little bit. Oh, dude, that's 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 perfect. That's right on the money. <gasps> Boop. Gotcha. Freaking stupid scheduled scan. Get out of my face. All right. Put, put a lot of spin on it, because that seemed to get us the strike last time. Yeah, okay. I found out the, I found out the secret. I found out the freaking secret, dude. I found out the secret. Alright. So yeah, you have to like, kind of get it going that way. Get it like not, oh, I was trying not to get it. But, like, put a lot of spin on it, and you will get a strike. Damn it. That one didn't work because I freaking accidentally went to 100. You don't want to go fully to 100, I find. You don't want to, like, go, you know, completely to 100. You kind of just want to do, um... Well, this one you can go for 100 and not even put a spin on it because, to be honest, you're going to hit all of them. Anyway, you're going to get a spare. But, tips for this freaking minigame, uh, if you want to strike... I would say, you know, you want to kind of aim it that way. Don't quite get 100, but put a lot of spin on it. And... That... <laughs> I put too much spin on it that time. I put too much spin on it that time. It's all good, though. All right. There we go. Got a spare. It's all good. All right, let's try to get a let's get try to get one last strike. Come on. All right. Come on, strike. Come on, strike. Oh, come on, dude. What is that? Oh, dude. One freaking pin, one pin. Everything else got knocked down, but one pin. What in the world?